Lee Marvin, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you, Bob. It's a relief that you didn't give me one of those flowery introductions, you know, like you usually do. I'm glad of that. Oh, good. Yeah, because I'm a modest man, you know, and it kind of gets tired of hearing what a talented, suburb actor you are, you know, in all the fields of both comedy and uh, drama. <laughs> Uncanny the way a modest actor can sneak that in, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hey, I heard you backstage talking to Milton Berle. Did I hear right? You said you didn't get into show business through the back door. You came in through the outhouse door. Well, as Walter Cronkite used to say, and that's the way it was. <laughs> yeah, after I got out of the service in World War II, I went home to Woodstock, New York, and got a job with a plumber. Well, I worked hard and soon became a uh, septic tank specialist. <laughs> went right to the top. But closer to the bottom. <laughs> anyway, one day I was called to the Maverick Summer Theater for a septic tank uh, job. And while I was there, one of the actors didn't show up. And, uh, well, they were in the spot, you know. So uh, the part called for a tall, loudmouth guy, and I got the job. <laughs> or maybe it was because the girls liked my cologne. I don't know. But, but I became an instant leading man. <laughs> hey, Lee, you want to play a little Trivial Pursuit? Oh, well, sure. All right. In the 1965 Academy Awards, who beat out Sir Lawrence Olivier, Richard Burton, Rod Steiger, Oscar Werner for the best actor? I give up. Who? You as the drunken gunslinger in Cat Baloo. Woo! There you go. Well, I knew that, but I didn't want to mention it. I know how sensitive you are about other people winning Oscars. <laughs> You're so understanding. Why, why do you figure you won over classy actors like Burton and Olivier, Steiger, and Werner? Well, in my picture, I drank a lot. In their pictures, they didn't. <laughs> well, Cat Baloo was a funny picture, but that wasn't real booze you drank. You were guzzling something like tea, huh? Yeah, they gave me something like tea, but what I drank was uh, very much like bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. I gotta tell you, you were a magnificent drunk. Oh, thank you, but actually I've been rehearsing for that part for a number of years. <laughs> but of course, I have to admit that I took staggering lessons from Dean Martin. <laughs> it's always wise to study under an expert. You know, things like looking blotto, falling off of bar stools, that, that just comes naturally to me. Well, have you given up drinking now? Well, absolutely. I give it up every other week. <laughs> You know what killed me in Capaloo was even your horse acted drunk. How did they get him to do that? Well, they had him hang around with me. <laughs> like I said, always wise to study under an expert. Lee, I'll, I'll never forget your acceptance speech at the awards. You said half of the Oscar belongs to a horse somewhere in the valley. Well, that made the audience laugh, but it didn't make a hit with the humans in the show. <laughs> you know, Bob, look, it's only 19 years later. Do you think I have time to, to thank the producer and the director, <laughs> the crew and all those lovely people on the set, all the animals, the trainers? No, wait, 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 Okay, Doc. That's enough. She doesn't need a complete physical. Boy, I hope he doesn't make house calls. I hate to be a party pooper, but, uh, remember me? Oh, pardon me for being rude. Uh, uh, this is your wife, Shirley. Darn, no surprise. Marcus and I were childhood sweethearts. Yes. Would you ever forget those picnics at Griffith Park? Oh, the moonlight on Mulholland Drive. And those wild nights at those beach parties. Oh, the weekends at Palm Springs. Yes, with no clothes. Well, how come you never married? <laughs> what was that? What happened in there?
Uh, there's a hell of an echo in here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> what was it? What did you say in there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Pardon me for stepping on your ad-libs. 